What's up guys, Udems here. Today we're back again, in this video we're playing some Grumshaw in the top lane. So it's that time of the month again where I have to play some Grumshaw. And I saw the enemy picked a Baron, so... I was thinking Grumshaw would be a perfect pick to completely destroy a Baron with. Now with Grumshaw, I have st been starting with Boots in a book. Because with the Boots, you can play super aggro at level 1 and you can try and catch an enemy bot laner off guard. See if you can get a first blood really quickly. Because you can make a lot of cheesy plays with Grumshaw. Oh, it's a Rona. I should still be able to win this. I'm actually going to cut off his path to the turret. Now we can't run there. I think I can get him here. Uh, I think I can win this too, actually. This is cruel. Oh, I think I actually can slow an auto. Oh, wait, Keshul's here. No, I'm dead. I actually don't know if I would have been able to beat that cruel anyways. That, that's totally worth it though, because we did get the first blood. So that's fine with me, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. Wait, I don't know why Kestrel was there. That's interesting that there's three of them. Unless... Okay, I don't even know what their team comp is at this point. So it looks like Baron's going to be in our ball lane. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. So I think we're going to be landing against Rona. Ah, uh, we can still make it work, I think. Where is the Kestrel? Wait, Rona's on the other side. I don't even know. Okay, I think it's Kestrel. Okay, we can make this work. Let's see if we can get onto him. Okay. I gotta get level 2. If I can get a good engage. Oh, this Arden's here. He's gonna scare him off. Dang. I kinda want this Arden to leave. Because he's scaring this Kestrel off. This Kestrel isn't going to step up unless this Arden's gone. Mm, see, every time they see the Arden, they're just going to keep on backing up. They should just go to mid. Help out the mid laner. Okay, that was a good couple autos. Let's see if we can get onto him. Oh, dang. That's fine, I could try and push this in. Okay, that poke is actually kind of annoying. Oh, I forgot. They actually started with the crystal bit, so... They have some more damage. Okay, I'm just trying to get a recall in. That's fine. Yeah, the crystal bit actually kind of put in work there. Because if you didn't know, for Kestrel, you have, like, both, like... The range of the arrow and then the extended range. So, like, the extended range... Is, like, what goes through the minions and, like, deals extra damage afterwards... So that's where the CP damage comes in, because that part has the CP damage. So normally if they would have started with two weapon blades, that part of the damage would not be too much. Let's see if we can catch him off guard. I have my boots back off cooldown. I should be able to kill him here. He doesn't have flask, I know. Yeah, they know they're dead. You can catch a lot of people off guard if you come back to lane like that. I actually think this cruel's dead too. I think he's trying to go for the turret. Oh wait, no, I can't kill him. He's way too tanky. I think that's unfortunate. Yeah, if you come back to lane like that, a lot of times you can catch them off guard. Especially if you have boots and they don't. I've gotten so many kills just going that way instead of going straight up in the lane. Because then they see you earlier and they can easily just back off. Because I don't think they had vision inside of that bush. Yeah, they didn't. That's fine though. Against like Kestrel though, Kestrel is actually one of the only bot laners that can match up with Grumshaw pretty well. At like level 1 and level 2 in, in these early levels. The most important thing is to just not die to the Kestrel. In the lane phase early on. Because if you do that you're definitely going to fall behind. I want to push this underneath the turret and make a miss some farm. I'll get another recall soon so it's alright. Okay I can just get out of here. Because against a Kestrel if you die early to him in the lane phase... When you're landing and then you like lose your turret, that puts you so far behind. But if you just play it safe and stay even with them, then eventually you're going to outscale them just naturally. Because around your middle levels, now I'm level 5. Level 5, level 6 is when Grumshaw really starts to like pull ahead. So I can start pushing this advantage now because just naturally as we level up, Grumshaw outscales Kestrel. 
So now I should be much more tankier against these arrows, and I could deal more damage too. And then once I get Mole to level 6, if I play right, I can easily get a free kill. So I'm actually going to let this wave push onto my side of the map. Because if I have this wave on my side of the map, I can set up for level 6. Because if they're going to want this farm, they're going to have to overextend super far, and if they overextend, I can try and force out their boots and flask and then go for an ult. So I'll just freeze this wave on my side. And if they choose not to step up, then they're just going to miss a bunch of farm. Let's see, okay, they just procked my pulse wave. Let's see if we can force anything out. I think they still have flask. If they keep on chasing, I'm going to engage with my A. I don't think they do. Okay, yeah, they don't. Yeah, they, they would have popped flask by then if they did have it. Okay, now the reason why I don't engage with my A is because if the Kestrel player is fast, they can actually dodge it with their B ability. So like when you're going to him with your A, they can use their B and escape. So if you can engage with your B, then you have more gap closers. Because if you engage with your B and then they still go invis or boots away, then you can use your A to gap close. Probably see that sometime later this match. Like over there, like, um, I used my B to engage, and then once I backed off, they probably thought I was backing off completely, but you still have your A ability to gap close. So I was able to get, like, right back on top of them. I'd still hold us on my side of the map if I want. I'm level 6 now, so... Should be fun. I don't think they're gonna step up again, because I don't think they want to die again. And also, with my Pulse Wave proc too, I don't even need to use my A because I have so much natural movement speed just from the Pulse Wave being proc'd. Okay, this is going to start to push back soon, I think. Where is this Kestrel at? Yeah, they've been missing so much farm in the past few minutes. Really, that's the goal with Grumcho. Like, you don't need to get fed yourself. The goal of Grumcho is to just keep the enemy bot laner from getting any gold and from getting items, while your bot laner keeps on scaling pretty much. Because the deal with Grumshaw, you, the enemy has to, like, put so much attention towards you. And if they don't, then... The enemy bot laner is just going to fall behind like this. Okay, I see Cruel's heading upwards. Could start pushing this one. We can go for a fight here, I think. We got this Kosh Gold. If we get a good engage onto this Kestrel, we should be able to kill him. I think we can win this. Oh, he went for an ult on the cool. Oh, yeah, that was not a good idea. I think I still win this. I don't know. Oh, hope he doesn't get a smite up again. Okay. Should be able to get this. Ooh, actually. Oh, wait. Did they stop the arrow? I'm going to drop this turret aggro for a second. Once that wave pushes in, I can... No, I'm not. I'm way too low. Oh, wait, actually, Arden. Arden. Arden has his B ability. He could just go onto his Kestrel and take the turret aggro for me. No, go onto Kestrel. Okay, nice. There we go. Yeah, Kestrel should have recalled as soon as they got that low. Because when you're that low, there's nothing you could really do. And it's better to just give up your turret than die and give up your turret. Because then that puts you really far behind. Oh, whoa. Uh, can you body block that? Okay, never mind. No need for that. Kind of scared me for a second. That was a really long sword. Yeah, I don't think the Koshka should ult the Cruel right away. Cause staying in extended trades against Cruel that does not work out well for us. Instead, we should have just gone for the like the delete onto the Kestrel and then just backed out. The reason why I ulted the Cruel there was because I was worried he's gonna get a smite back off cooldown and regen a bunch of his health. So I wanted to ult and kill him as soon as I can to make sure he didn't get a smite off cooldown. Because he's healing so much from that, like, I was kind of surprised by it. Let's see if we can force something from this. Okay, nice. Well, let's not do this. I don't want to fight this Skrull again. And this Kestrel's here. Oh, I don't know why this Ron is here. Shouldn't Rona be bot side? I uh, see Arden's coming upwards. Cruel is still here. 
I don't know about this. I don't really have ult. None of us have our ults. Okay, well, Arden does, but Koshka doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, I think we win this, but... Okay, there we go. Now the Koshka's playing right. They're going in and out. That's so much better. I think we can win this. Nice, nah, okay. And they got the, their ult back off cooldown. That was definitely nice. Ooh. I have my flask. So, we're good. Yeah, but if you notice the first time when we went up against that cruel, the Koshka just ran up to the cruel and then started just like auto attacking them and stuff. And that time they were going in and out and using their abilities, which is definitely what you got to do against a cruel. It's a little bit different for me because my damage, I have to be like in their face for quite some time. Use my B ability and auto attacks. But Koshka is ability focused, so they can easily do it. I actually think I can get this turn. I know he. Oh. Dang, that special spot on me. I think I can still get him. I know this dude already burned his ult, so he doesn't have much escape. There's his boots. Actually, he has nothing left. I want to see if I can get him here. No, oh, please don't come after me. Dang. They might know I'm here. They might have seen that that was leashing towards me. Yeah, they definitely do. I'm actually just going to go for this cash. Oh, should be oh wait, Cruel's behind me. Whoa. <laughs> These swords are kind of scaring me. I maybe could have blocked off the trap actually from a catch one on the kill. I did not expect Cruel to still be here. I don't know why there's so many people up in this lane. I could block off this one. I might have actually gotten myself killed. Cruel might be coming back. I gotta watch out for that. Oh yeah, he is. Wait, 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 watch this, watch this. He's about to come this way. I can go over this wall. Oh wait! Wow. That dude just got so lucky there with that ult. He <laughs> literally stunned me out of my A over that wall. That's sad. Yeah, in a case like that, Churnwalker really couldn't do much because without his ult, he has no way of getting me off the Kestrel. Like, he can pull me, but that's not exactly going to keep me off since I have a lot of gap closers, plus my block. So, really, Churn's pretty much useless in that case. Because when you're behind like that, like look at how behind the cash tools, I've been keeping him starved the entire game. There really isn't much they could do, because they just don't have enough damage to take me down. Unless, of course, three people were rotating on me. Okay, let's see if we could do something here. Maybe we can get an A over the sidewall. Oh, wait, so they saw me. Yeah, that Kestrel definitely saw me. A lot of times you can get a sneaky A off on the single, but... I uh, think I can get this Kestrel here. Oh wait, do I win this? Oh wait, that didn't kill him. Okay. Oh, I can block. Can Link clean that up? No, I don't think they are. Okay, well, at least we got two kills there. I tried to use my ult for a burst of damage there, because if you didn't know, your ult actually does a nice amount of damage. So you can use it that way, too, if you don't need it for the eat. Oh, dang. I think they're dead. They gotta go to the dark form. Nope, they didn't get it off. Yeah, they needed to change their dark form and then use their dark B. Maybe they would have lived there. Yeah, see what I was saying? Like, early on, like, I was kind of struggling against the Kestrel a bit. But as long as you... Oh, come on. Get out of my lane. Oh, wait, they're gonna dive me? No, I don't think they are. I actually think they could have do dove me there. Uh, I don't think I want to contest that. There's a lot of people there. Grumchow actually isn't too good into this comp. Like, Grumchow doesn't do too well into Rona or Cruel. And into turn two, 
Chrome Show is awful into churn, but the reason why I picked it was because I really wanted to land against a Baron. And Grom Show just completely slaps in lane phase, so. <laughs> I wanted to. Yeah, see, like, I don't like this fight here. This is bad engage. I'm uh, not gonna go in here. I'm just gonna die if I do. We gotta run from this one. Ooh. Yikes. See, like, this churn's just getting us all chained up, and there's nothing I can really do. Fight like that. Oh wait, I had a Crucible. I'm trolling. Yeah, nobody on my team is really dealing damage, but like me and the Koshka is doing a bit. I'm not gonna go in here. I'm not gonna 1v4 him. Oh wait, these people are caught out. Wait, we can totally kill them. We can get them here. Nice, they overstayed for that. We can get this dragon now. But the Grumshaw, you definitely want to be ending as early as you can. Because once you get late team late game team fights, you become kind of useless. Because you're such an early and mid game focused champ. Oh, is that a cash troll? I see. Where are you at? I can get him here. Nice, okay, that was a good ult. He messed up his jump. Ooh, wait, I can get this Baron too. There we go. See what I mean by holding your A as long as you can? That's why I love this Grumtron to Baron matchup, because it's so easy to stick onto a Baron, since you can get an engage with your B ability, because you're so much just naturally faster with your base movement speed. And then once you do that, the Baron's going to jump away with their B, and then, since you haven't even used your A yet, you could use that to gap close, right onto the Baron, after they jump. And pretty much you're right onto them, and they have no escape. So that's why it's just such a good matchup, like. If you play right, you should never lose that matchup. Unless, like, of course you're getting camped and stuff. But... No, that's kind of weird. I can't exactly... I don't know about this. Well, let's get out of here. I don't know what Koshka was, but... Yeah, we really don't have much range damage. That makes it hard to push with Black Claws. Because Malin is... I think Malin was building weapon power last I saw. And then... Petal is... Doing a decent amount, I guess, but... Not exactly... Too good at pushing. Wait, why is my name your Doomsy Zero? Did I really just misspell my own IGN? I think I did. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, I've been I haven't changed my IGN in weeks too. Wait, they're going for that. Ooh, I did not catch that. Wait, we can clean this up here. Nice, okay. Ooh, where's this Baron? Come back. Where'd they going? No. Okay, that's fun. We can go for this armory in bot lane. We don't even need minions. We could just push it right away. Yeah, I haven't changed my IGN in weeks, man. I've been playing with my own IGN spelled wrong. Quite some time. Ooh, we don't need... Let's we'll see if I can get an eat onto this cash hole. Nice, okay. Wait, I think that's game. I think we can end here. Ooh, dang, that stun is kind of annoying. Uh, just focus the vein. Uh, I gotta just go watch out for Churnal. Yep, we're good. Let's see, I could just Atlas him. And I got stun out of my Atlas. Dang. Got some bad luck this game. Okay, I think we're still good though. Yeah, we were good. Okay, well, that match was a bit different than what I was planning on, but definitely worked out in the end. Oh dang, we had 15 of our team's 21 kills and support too. Yeah, I don't know what our million build is. Pedal was, eh. But whatever. 
These are the builds. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not. Drop a comment down below. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one.